Welcome to Unit 2 of this week's course on probability and Bayes' theorem. In this unit we'll be looking at conditional probability, that is the likelihood of an event based on knowledge of another event having taken place already. It often happens that the probability of an event is conditional on a previous event. If you have a bag of snooker balls, you can calculate the probability that you will pull out a red one or a green one. However, what is the probability that you will pull out a second red or a second green? Well, the latter is zero, as there is only one green. However, there is the possibility of taking another random red, though the probability has changed because you have already taken one red out. How do you calculate that conditional probability? Let's look at the chance of pulling out a random red ball. There are 15 red balls out of a total of 22 balls. Therefore, the probability of taking out a red ball is um, equal to 15 divided by 22, which comes to 0.68%. However, now you've reduced the number of red balls to 14. Therefore, the probability of the next random ball being red is slightly less. The probability of this event now equals 14 divided by 21, which comes to 0.6666%. Note that if you do not put the balls back after taking them out, then the calculated probabilities are dependent just a reminder, the upright symbol, the pipe symbol, is used to indicate conditional probability. For example, the probability of B given A is the probability of the event with the upright, and A means the conditional probability of B given A. So let's look at an example. The probability of B and A equals the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B given A. So, the probability of getting two red balls, that is A and B, is as follows. The probability of B and A equals 15 divided by 22 multiplied by 14 divided by 21. That comes to 210 divided by 462, which equates to 0.46, 46%. Pause the video here and try calculating the conditional probability of getting a red, a pink and a black. What is the probability of pulling an ace from a pack of cards having already picked out an ace? There are 52 cards in a standard pack of cards and four are aces. Therefore, the simple probability of picking out the first ace is 4 divided by 52. The probability of picking one ace from the pack is 4 divided by 52, which is, which is 1 divided by 13, or 7.7%. However, once this ace is being picked out, there are only 3 of them left and 51 cards in total. Therefore, the simple probability of drawing that second ace is 3 divided 51 which is 5.9 percent. These combine to calculate the combined probability of pulling two aces. This can be done by multiplying together the above simple probabilities. The calculation is on the slide. So the probability of picking two aces equals the probability of picking the first ace multiplied by the probability of picking the second ace, given that the first ace was picked. This comes to 12 divided by 2652, which is 1 divided by 221, or 45%. Let's rearrange the formula using simple algebra to find another use for conditional probability. We started with calculating the probability of events A and B, which we calculated by multiplying the simple probability of A by the probability of B given A. You may want to pause the video for a few seconds to remind yourself about uh, that, that formula. However, 
What if we want to calculate the likelihood of B given A? We need to shift the formula around. Let's swap the sides around to show what we are calculating and then move the simple probability of A from multiplying on one side to defining on the other side. You can see this formula on the slide. We would recommend again pausing the video here to look at the formula in a little bit more detail. Let's look at an example. 80% of your team like tiramisu and 20% like tiramisu and sticky toffee pudding. What's the probability of team members liking sticky toffee pudding, given that they like tiramisu? Using the formula in the screen, you can see that the answer comes to 25%. In summary, using probability, you can calculate the likelihood of an event or series of events. You need to understand all possible outcomes in the sample space and the particular event or group of, of events you are analysing. Events which are conditional upon each other can be combined to calculate probabilities. By rearranging the formula you can calculate the probability of more than one dependent event. This is the probability A and B as well as the probability of one event being contingent on a second event, the probability of B given at A. In the next unit, we'll be introducing you to Bayes' theorem.